I'm going to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS groups and ones alike, teacher of percent of truth. Shalom, Rakadam to them for the edification and knowledge. Give all praise again to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakadash. That was a TRT video relating to um, the SR-400s related to Turkey. This will test what can they mean. I want to go to um, some scriptures. I'm going to 
out of Matthew 24, 6 through 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. For there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in different places. And all these are the beginnings of sorrows. And that's the way we're in. We're in the, we're in the times of sorrow. You know, I mean, the birth pangs. We hear rumors of wars. Um, things are happening, pestilence and famines in different types of different places. Um, things that normally wouldn't happen in certain locations are happening. Um, kingdom, against, king, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nations are rising up. Rumors of wars um, and different things. And this relates to the uh, birth pangs, it relates to the times of sorrows, and this relates to the times we're in. We'll go to Luke 21. This is Luke 21. I'm going to read 9 and 10. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. These are the beginnings. This is just the beginning stages. Number 10. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And earthquakes shall be in different places, and famines and pestilence, fearful sightings, great signs, shall be from the heaven. That's what we see in great signs, fears, fearful sightings, famines, pestilence, and strange things that's happening. Strange signs that's um, being manifested. Second Ezra uh, 9.1 uh, measure, measure, thou measure thou the time diligently in itself. For they were speaking about the signs that was spoken about uh, before, paraphrasing. Because the Lord has begun to visit what he has made. The second Ezra is 9, 1 and 2. So we have to measure the time. We have to pretty much um, see what's being manifested. And see what kind of measure the things relating to what's happening. By being vigilant. By being sober. By analyzing. And most of all watching. Um, I'll read number 12. But before these... They shall lay hands on you and persecute you, delivering you into the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Not talking about really um, going through the trials and tribulation relating to the ones and the truth. You know what I mean? That's what they're talking about. I read it anyway. But um, that relates, that's, that's, that's the times we precursively enter in as well. And that relates to the. Um, uh, specifically the whole full elect of prophets or prophesizing and preaching on the highways and byways, preaching his truth and knowledge, man. I want to go to uh, Mark 13. Mark 13 and 7. And when ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in different places, and there, and, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. So 7 and 8, that's with the language of uh, 21 of Luke and also uh, Matthew's 24 is talking about nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Things happen in different diverse places. Um, rumors of wars, um, commotions, troubles, different things. That's the times we're in. Huh? That's the times we're in. We're going to go to um, Joel.
Joel, third chapter. Now let's start from the top. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, which means Yahweh has judged, the valley of decision, and will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage, heritage, his Israel, who they have scattered among the nations in part of my land. That way it's the restoration of Israel, man. All these nations contribute and help scatter the nation of Israel. Um, wrong relate to Psalms 83, nations that were confederate against the nation of Israel. Um, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that he might drink. Pretty much the, um, some of the wicked things they have done relating to the, the, uh, the Lord's people. The apple of the, um, the, the, apple of the Lord's eye, man. It's chosen people. Go to six. All right, I'm going to go to, uh, yeah, I'll just read six. For the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold to the Grecians, which are the Edomites, that ye might remove them far from their borders. So they were, that means they were to be sold to, in bondage. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them, and return, and it will return you your recompense upon your own heads. So, um, so the place they were scattered and sold, related to Deuteronomy 28, uh, the recompense is going to put on all, all those nations related to Psalms 83 that were responsible for ultimately. Um, doing certain things to the nation of Israel. So that recompense is pretty much um, um, that revenge or, or judgment upon those other nations, man, because they touched the apple of the Lord's eye, man. Let's go to, um, I, want to I want to go to number 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and pruning hooks into spears. That's weapons. And pruning plowshares and plowshares and pruning hooks relates to um, uh, our agricultural equipment and of course the swords and the spears relates to your weapons man they're weapons of war I'm going to read it again beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I am strong that relates to these other nations that they're building up they're not, they're not saying they're weak no more they're saying they're strong so they're becoming stronger and for example, that they're building up their nuclear uh, arsenal, their, their nuclear armament, where they're becoming um, um, just as uh, uh, formidable as the um, um, uh, as the other nations, or in this case, um, the, the top main ones, the top main nations, man. Um, assemble yourselves and come all. Ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. So, race of the nations. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shaphat, for there, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about related to the nations. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. So it's ready for the it's ripe for the taking. Come get you down, for the press is full and the fats overflow, relates to the blood. For their wickedness is great. You know what I mean? It relates to um, the judgment that's gonna be put upon the nations, man. You know what I mean? Because of their um, excessive wickedness they have done. The multitudes and the multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of Jehoshaphat. 
for the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. So these are the things that's going to happen uh, related to the latter times, man. The sun is going to lose its light. It's going to be like sackcloth. The moon is going to be no more shining. These are some of the signs of the things and plagues that's going to be happening in the, in the latter times. The earth is going to move to and fro, literally. And um, right, let's continue with it. And the Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and strength and the strength of Israel, of the children of Israel. That relates to restoration to Israel, the, re, the redeeming back, which means buying back of Israel from, um, from spiritual bondage. They're going to be restored back into, they're going to be redeemed and restored back into Yahweh Hashem Yashem. Um, number 10 again, I'm going to read that. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruner hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And that's a very important one because the other nations are building up. They're building up their nuclear uh, armament, such as Turkey and many other nations. So they're not no longer pretty much, they're not a small, weak nation no more. They're a very powerful nation. And I'll be in various other nations goes with that. So they're building up and saying, we're no longer weak, we're strong. That means pretty much they, they're, they're, they're formidable, potentially formidable, and even could be even a threat. And that being said, this was a video, this is something short relating to uh, that TRT video relating to the SR-400s relating to Turkey, you know, testing, you know. That being said, I give, uh, give all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, the water for listening, I hope it benefit. Shalom, thanks.